I'm gonna teach you everything that you have to know about ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease in story form in a way that you're gonna remember probably five years from now, just like I did. These two diseases I would confuse all of the time. And so this has really helped keep them in separate parts of my brain that I could pull out on exam day when I need them. So let's start with setting the scene. And so because these are kind of like sister diseases, I have them in the same story form. To set the scene for this one, I imagine that we're in a park behind a high school. So in this park is the left and there's the right right and the two groups or the two diseases are going to have a sign each. Let's start with the crows. So the crows are this group that are really close friends in high school and they are on the right side of the building and on this trail there are a bunch of scattered groups of this friend group. So there's two people here, there's three people down there, all the way in the back there's like four people. They're all scattered. This is to remember a few things. The right side of the building is to remember that the right lower quadrant is the one that's affected in this disease. And then the scattered groups is to remember that there are skip lesions throughout the colon. Unlike ulcerative colitis, this one is all scattered throughout the colon. Okay, so why are these kids all in this backyard in the park scattered throughout? The competition was a pinata hitting competition, okay? Crows, or the Crohn's disease side, they easily broke through their pinata. Like one smash, blew, the whole thing blew open. Just scattered pieces of pinata, and then on the side, some kids are like putting it together to make another set of pinatas. In Crohn's disease, you have transmural inflammation. That way it goes all the way through the wall of the colon, and then you also have fistula formation. So those two things are important on exams. Because they got through the pinata so quickly, they're just chilling, scattered throughout the park, just hanging out with their friends and some are sitting on like a cobblestone pathway. One of them is eating string cheese. And so the cobblestone pathway is to remember cobblestone mucosa, that's a buzzword on exams, as well as the string cheese sign. One of the students picks up the phone to call their grandma and that's because the grandma lives alone and she just wants to make sure that her grandma took her vitamins. Here we're gonna remember a few things. Grandma is to remember non-caseating granulomas and then lives alone is because this is a Th1 mediated response. That's the mechanism of this disease. And the vitamins is to remember that people with Crohn's disease have to take vitamins because they have malabsorption. Okay, we're almost at the end here. When she's on the phone with her grandma, her grandma is telling her that she's in a lot of pain because she has a kidney stone um, and she asks us for help. Okay, stretch, but listen. You have kidney stones and gallstones involved in this disease. And then ASCA is just to remember that is a buzzword again that you need to remember for exams, it's a marker. While she's on the phone with her grandma, she's like, I'm so sorry, grandma, I'll be there soon. Just remember, please stop smoking. People with Crohn's disease, when they smoke, it makes their disease much, much worse and they should avoid cigarettes. Okay. So now that's half of it. The other half is ulcerative colitis. And for ulcerative colitis, I have the Olsen twins. And so they're part of this high school. They're on the left side of the building on their pathway. And it's just Mary Kay and Ashley. It's just the Olsen twins. And they're actually sitting all the way at the end of the trail, the very, very end of the trail. Left side of the building is because this is, involves the left lower quadrant. The reason I have them sitting all the way at the edge of the trail, not scattered throughout like in Crohn's disease is because this affects the colon and the rectum only. Uh, Mary Kay and Ashley, the Olsen twins, are sitting there trying to open up their pinata and they just can't. They really only got through the first layer and they can't get through any more of it. That's to remember that unlike Crohn's disease. Ulcerative colitis only affects the mucosa and the submucosa layer. It doesn't go all the way through the walls, it's just the top surface. I used Olsen twins for a few reasons. One is it just sounds like ulcerative colitis. I would remember that easily on exams. And two is that the presentation is bimodal, but mostly it presents in the teens. And then there's also a genetic component. So these are twins. I would remember this is genetic. All right. They're sitting there trying to get through the spinata. They're not having any luck. And so they grab a lead pipe and they just start going at it. Lead pipe is a buzzword that you should know for exams that you just see it's called lead pipe imaging and that's loss of the haustra. Both twins are hitting it at the same time. This is to remember that it's a TH2 mediated response or a helper T cell response. One of the twins has been really going at it with this lead pipe for so long and her arm starts to get really tired. It gets mega swollen and bloody. So this is to remember that you have fatigue as a presentation you can have toxic megacolon as a complication and it can present with bloody diarrhea and it mostly presents with bloody diarrhea. So they're really not doing a good job at their pinata and one of the twins has a boyfriend named Peter who comes up with a basket full of all-star awards, steak and steroids. Peter is a way to remember that this is P anca. That's the buzzword you should know on exams. The five ASA is a treatment iron is a treatment and steroids are a treatment. When I made this up, I remember still getting really confused about which one's on the left, which one's on the right. I just couldn't for the life of me keep that straight. And so the Olsen twins lost 
they're on the left side, they are the losers. Losers, left side. Hopefully this one clicks for you as much as it did for me. And hopefully this can be a good resource for you guys to come back to whenever you need it. All right, see you guys in the next one.